five. Good news is, Kirk, that Matt Corral's left ankle injury is better than it's been in a few weeks. Not quite 100 percent, but he'll need to use those legs tonight against this pass rush. Yeah, it's a Braylon Sanders getting a little bit healthier, but also not 100 percent with leg injuries. Opening play wants to throw a screen ball batted in the air and quick penetration by Aaron Hansford. But they're going to run the ball. Here comes that tempo. Looking to throw for it in third and short. Catch made by Casey Kelly, the only. Just to sit back and watch and enjoy. First down, wants a downfield shot. Down the seam, and the catch is made by Braylon Sanders like that. With that route. 24-yard gain. Looking to throw again. High pass. Caught. Drummond. Again, get lined up. How fast this is coming at you. Corral on the move, retreats and just throws it away. That was a ready to snap the ball. And there's another accurate start. Man, he is on fire. Today. Seconds. That ball is being snapped. Another short throw. That's Casey Kelly. Spike quick carries in this first quarter already. Corral looking to throw. Launches downfield. Has a man wide open. And he overshot Pearson. Arkansas runs it and across the middle complete and muscling down for a first down. A lot of pre-snap shifting. They bring pressure. It picked up wide open. Drummond is knocked down at the three in the FBS. Big moment early here. Corral looking to his left. Fires touchdown. Drummond on the slant was wide open. What a drive. What a drive. 92 yards job of reading this defense, attacking. It's a big play here late in the last drive. Eyes in the backfield. Gives him just enough. Lose an alpha. You lose one of your leaders, and you go to a true freshman up front. And there's a high throw trying to find Jackson on this thing. And so that is a significant loss for now for a &M. The screen here. They need three. Ely. Heavy traffic, and he's going to be tackled. A couple players now dealing with some injuries. Corral over the middle has a man running free, and it's Pearson. It's the seam, eyes out of place on that play for the defense. There's another first down throw, and it's Pearson again, and he's forced out in a and m Corral pulls it, and he'll be sacked. Ball is loose, and the Aggies recover it. That was not free. But he's out, he was in the tent. He can play inside, he can play outside. Watch him here. Good coverage, by the way, allows him to get home. Without that coverage, he doesn't make that play. Those quick slants are coming for touchdowns. And there's a throw to the end zone. Incomplete. Corral across the middle. A dart. Accurate. Second and goal. Corral keeps it. They were ready for that run. And he lost the ball again. A scramble for it way back at the 20. The Rebels will make Richardson. You know, Corral's such a fighter. He's trying to fight for extra yards. Look at that ball in the left hand. 26. Richardson knocks it out. It looked like Liao had it. I thought he was going to get on top of it. Corral takes off and runs, and he'll be knocked out of the 15. So they do it. Yeah. Corral back to work. Fires over the middle. And coming back to make a beautiful hand sketch was Braylon Sanders. He gave up the inside to the quicker Ely. Corral pulls the ball, lofts it downfield, threw it into traffic. It was almost intercepted by Antonio Johnson. Pound nickelback that really emerged after the Colorado game. Did a good job locating veterans in the back end. Then you throw in 27. And catch made across the middle there by Drummond. To be able to stay healthy in that backfield and keep stay fresh. Connor behind Plumley as Corral rolls and is muscled out just short of the pylon. Corral pulls it, flips it in the flat, and stops short is Casey Kelly. Not tricked. It was a quick throw. It was a fake that run the RPO so processing along with the release helps him play fast and <laughs> an improvisation play flips it to Ely he was in the grasp of defenders and makes a play and they're in Aggie territory in kinds of arm angles isn't he it's fun to watch it, it is this time he just at the last second again he reminds me like a 23rd first down for the Rebels in his first half
Corral spins away from pressure and delivers incomplete. Tries to turn it loose here. Wanted to look downfield for a throw. And now just sprints and he'll just throw it away. Physical. Rebels right back at it with the tempo. Corral looking to throw. It's incomplete. That was defense to get off the field here. Perhaps build some momentum. But Corral gets the ball out and it's dropped. Moving it as this game goes on. Corral pulls it. Now flips it down. Healy's got some space. And bolts forward. Just running straight. Parrish is still the bat. Corral takes off. Makes a cut. Hasn't done that much tonight. Very few. They have not been. Corral in the flat. Ely. They had him penned in. They kept the edge. He cuts it back and gains. And they flip it in the flat. Plumley has a nice block on the edge. And he's got. Still believe, right? Have to. Corral lofts downfield looking for Braylon Sanders. Corral looking to run all the way. And takes a hard shot. Well, that was Chappelle who Pearson going in motion out of the far side. And Corral feels immediate pressure. And this is a scramble. And this is what drives defenses and cohort three. And Corral pitches incomplete. That's another drop. Corral checks it down. And the catch is made by Pearson. They are waiting for Hunt. Corral fires across the middle, but it was Corral across the middle, and it's caught. Diving attempt in an interception. Pearson made the catch there. Coming in motion, and back is Drummond, and they get the ball to Drummond, but he's going to be wrapped up and dropped for a loss. Antonio Johnson, Sonny Tate. You use all of the play clock. Corral keeps it and just slides down after picking up about six minutes to eight and two. There's a lot of uh, traffic and a lot of fancy ball handling in the lose today. You know, Corral, his production's been limited by the injuries, but he comes out tonight, you know, throws for 247 and a touch. That's it. It's a hard fought victory for Ole Miss. Get out to a 15 nothing lead. It was cut to two. Two late interceptions are important. And the Rebels go to 8 and 2. Aggies drop to 7 and 3 and drop out of contention. Pretty much gives Alabama the SEC West, which is going to surprise nobody.